guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Good, The Bad with Kat. I am Kat, and today is new makeup day. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I'm so excited for this one. All right, so I've been to Ulta so many times the last few weeks, just getting different things and buying different things and trying different things, returning different things, you know, Christmas money, my birthday's coming up, all of that stuff. So I have some new makeup. The one thing I didn't buy was a primer. I went ahead and used the e.l.f. Power Grip just because I wanted to try it. I feel like I might have used this last year. I'm not sure I filmed it. I had one forever ago. I loved it. I want to see if I still love it. It's been a long time since I've used it. So this is the Ulta Under Eye Brightener. And the reason why I got this is NYX came out with a bunch of them. Well, they're completely sold out. It's very annoying. But I remember liking this. This was $10. Theirs are $9. So I feel like they're equal. So I'm going to go ahead. This is in pink. This is their light color. I'm going to go ahead and stick it under my eye. I'm going to stick a little bit here. I'm going to stick a little bit here on my chin. I know you're not supposed to do that because it's a brightener, but let's just try it and see if it works, okay? Um, so you can also get this in uh, not a yellow, but if you're a little bit darker, it's not quite pink. But I think it's one of the first pinks besides, because um, it's been out for a long time, and pink is just becoming a thing. I am going to go into, you guys have seen this, my makeup forever, just to add a little bit more to my cheeks. Uh, that power grip made me shiny. So I'm just adding a little bit of concealer to my nose and stuff. I've been I've been on and off getting sick and I just can't seem to kick it. So this other thing I got it, I got it in the clearance section, so it may be out. This is the Ulta Beauty Youthful Glow Foundation Serum Drops. Oh, oh, it's shooting out, so that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. I feel like this might be what I bought last year. I think this is my color. I'm not sure. Close enough. It does say it's buildable. It is very oily. It is, does that make sense? It kind of reminds me of the original L'Oreal True Match. That's interesting. It's not too far off in color. I just had to kind of buy what looked right. This is in the color light cool see now it's coming out real serum-y before it came out kind of chunk which is not how you want to see in your foundation okay so that is interesting I don't, hey did i put any on my nose i don't know now what is that it has a smell to it I wonder if I keep shaking it up, will it do that same thing? Yeah, so if you don't shake it up, it comes out liquidy. If you shake it up, it comes out with a little bit of chunk. Let's see, it does say it's buildable, so let's try that out. Mostly right here and right here. I just like a little bit of extra coverage. <laughs> it's very yellow for me. So it's kind of interesting. Or I can't tell, it might just be the lighting. I'm gonna try something. Oh, that's way better. Okay, let's try that. Oh, God. It is a bit greasy, but that's okay because I bought the new Juvia's Place stuff. Okay, and then I went with the Essence Thicket. Wow, I'm going to do that off camera. You guys have seen me use this. I'm just going to go ahead and throw some browns down. Okay, so I'm not loving the coverage. I mean, on camera, it looks okay, but in real life, I feel like my chin's still red. I feel like it's real um, sheer, but that's okay because we're going to try these. We're on sale. These are the Juvia's Place um, Powder Foundation. So what I thought is we'd try it. I'm not a big fan of powder foundation, but I they were just too beautiful to pass up. So it looked like this, and I found out I think I'm very light Valencia, I think. They were limited in their shades, and so I went with the closest one. So I'm going to go in with a big brush and pack that under the eye, which means by doing this, I'm setting myself up for having to use powders the rest of the day. So I'm not sure I'm gonna be super happy about that because I can't remember what blush I was gonna use. I may not have a new blush, so I'll just go find an old one. Well, I think that definitely, <laughs> I 
I just really liked, it's very fine, like it almost felt wet. So this is Valencia, and this says on here that it gives a, our lightweight, ultra-fine powder foundation provides a soft matte finish to the skin. Effortlessly glides onto skin for a silky, long-lasting, and natural look. And so it's it's infused with ingredients to tighten and sh uh, shrink the appearance of large pores at excess. I definitely feel that. I think it definitely did that. So claim to fame. So because I did that, I think that means I'm going to have to change my plan for blush. So I'll be right back. Okay. I hit stop filming. <laughs> And so you guys didn't see me put on any blush or any uh, bronzer, which is okay. It's all stuff I've already used. It's my Scott Sparns uh, Carve It Out uh, contour palette and then my Patrick Ta triple blush thing. But we're really here about, none of that was new. We're here about the pretty grunge Huda Beauty. I saw it on Tati. I was blown away. It is an 18 pan palette. I really think grunge is on the way back. Um, it is 10... Um, mattes seven shimmers and then i'm not sure why i realized after i touched it but i wasn't filming this is wet this is a cream shadow so that's kind of interesting so i've seen a lot of people i think grunge really is coming back which is exciting to me um i never was i never honored my grunge girl that was inside of me so i think we should I think we should go in with this cream, lay down a full black, and then go on it with some of these shimmers. I love that idea. All right, did I put, I did not put eye primer on. Guys, I had an eye primer on my desk. Everything is lost because I was showing it off the other day. And now my desk is a mess. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Milani eyeshadow primer, um, long wear shadow base. And let that go on. So right now I am going in with this very flat, this old YouTube as I've been told way of doing things. And I am gonna go ahead into the color grunge and I'm gonna go ahead and begin to pack that on the whole eye. I did not know that was, um, um, a cream until I stuck my finger in it and I was like because I was trying to see how many colors were um, shimmers and I was like that's a weird texture for a flat and then that's when I hit it that I realized that's a cream so that's kind of awesome so yeah we're gonna go and kind of buff this out but we're going across the whole lid So as I was saying, I think grunge is coming back. I have always wanted to be a grunge. I never was a grunge, um, you know, for a lot of different reasons, but mostly because I grew up in a pretty religious family and that wouldn't have been something to think about. So then I'm going to take the color. So this was grunge and I'm going to take this color Renegade to um, Holy Cow. That is my favorite thing I've ever done. For the rest of the year, I only wear black eyeshadow. I'm going into Renegade, which is the matte black, to set this, you know what I mean, to set this on this outside. I'm going halfway over. And I'm also using it to kind of bluff out, uh, buff out that top. Because I do want it to be smoky, but not chunky, you know. Probably should have plucked my eyebrows before I came in here. Now, what I'm thinking is the color that I really wanted to see was this haphazard, which is two, if you can see it, it's two different, two or three different colors in there. And when I touched it last night, it comes off looking like this. Hello, dark purple. So it looks like a lot of the other colors I wear in my life, but oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. What I like is that, let me swatch it for you here. 
see the color shift in there? That's really pretty. Now I want to take Rebel, which is much more of a glittery. I'm so happy. I like that more than the other colors, so I'm kind of taking that all over. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, so now I think what I need to do to kind of fix this is I'm gonna go into Avant Garde, which is kind of a shimmery black that's not as a, this is the color. So I'm gonna take that now and add that right here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm so happy. All right, I'm going in with my L'Oreal. You guys have seen me, the smoldering eye line. And I'm gonna go do my waterline. I can't think about it or it freaks me out. Now, I wanna take this Renegade though, but on a really fine brush. Nope, not that one, I'm gonna use that for the inner corner. Actually, I'm going to take Nirvana, which is kind of this dark purple right here, Nirvana. I'm going to go under my line, water line with that to give the look some depth. It does have some fallout, but that's on me. But see how that kind of just made it not so black? That makes me happy. Okay. Now to do the other eye. I kind of want to do another smoky eye, but <sighs> I just love to do that with all of my heart. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take that Fearless, which is this color right here. And I'm going to come and start stamping that out here which is more of a red that is really really pretty so it's gonna go like that and now I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna go into that Nirvana which is the purple I put under this eye and I'm gonna go right underneath it to kind of pack that in and give it some depth so see how it's just a bit darker and more purple they just go on such good, so good, so good, so good, so good. Okay, let me shake this off. Still love this from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna go get like 70 more. They're just the best. I keep giving them away. And now I'm gonna go into Freedom, which is this color right here. And start to fill that into the whole eye right here to give this something. Okay, now I'm going back into Fearless to darken this top up and to blend that down. Oh, that's really pretty, that's really pretty. Kind of just smudging out that top. So it just kind of gave me a really pretty eye. Now I think if I'm right, I'm gonna go into Strong AF and that's the dual chrome, the other dual chrome. And I'm going to take that and put that all right. Oh, that's beautiful. There. You see how that didn't take away from the red? And then I'm going to go into stand up the color right next to it. That looks like that. And I'm going to bring that right here into the center. Now the only thing is strong as F had more of a silver base and the other one had a little bit more of a gold base. That is so pretty. Oh, I'm so happy. So, so happy. Okay, I'm gonna go into Fearless to have more of a red, but first let me do my waterline. I, I do want a waterline on this one. My God, I'm sitting here. I just put it down and I'll probably put a wing on the top to try to. 
So I'm going into Fearless, which is that red. This the color that was up at the top. And I'm going into not smoking out my bottom line with that. Okay, and then I want to do a line. I do want to do a, a line. I just had a freaking pencil. Right so I'm trying to come up with that way that you actually see the water that. And then I think I went too far out. But it is what it is. Okay, now she did come with a... a she did give her uh, the best lashes major volume. This is her light lashes. And she did give two samples. So why don't we try that? It's two mascaras. So this is her legit lashes. It comes with a for volume and um, curl and lengthen. All right, so let's try it. Well, this is this kind of cool. Oh my gosh, there's like almost no product on that. Now that's not gonna work. Do you see that? Okay, so that's okay. We'll try that. We'll try it. We'll, we'll buy one one day. But I, so, when I was at Ulta, this is, nope, that's not it. That's the second mascara I want to try. The Ky Kendall Jenner Panorama from Voluminous Panorama from L'Oreal. I love L'Oreal Volume. Any, basically, if it's a mascara by uh, L'Oreal, I'm pretty much a fan. So this is called Panorama, and it has Kylie Jenner as the face. Um, so let's try this. This says it's going to give me multi-level bristles for bigger, 1.4 bigger eye look. So let's try it. I like the brush. What I like is it's not clumping, which is really nice. The brush is powerful enough to comb through the clumps. Let's go to the other eye. It's harder when you have black mask eyeshadow on to see, but I feel like that's definitely improvement on my lashes big time. We're gonna go in for round two. I definitely like that. Oh. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Now, I got a lip stain from e.l.f. in the color, I have no idea, Berry Queen. This is going to seal the deal on this. I was like, ooh, $6 until you realize it's this big. But still, well, it is what it is. I like that a lot. I need to put more blush on them. So... You, I forgot I didn't film it. I thought I was. But I went ahead and went into my Patrick Ta triple here. This is the Four Face Patrick Ta. And I haven't used it in a while. I forget how much I love it. And so I'm going to go into the color um, again. Giving Flirty. And I do think this is Giving Flirty. And just up my pink. And then I want to go into Giving, uh, what is this one called? giving glossy, which is this highlight right here. Hmm. I'm not liking that. Okay, hold on. I have my Charlotte Tillsbury Glow Guide and Champion Glow. Let's go in with that. Because we need to glow with this look. Is that all my new makeup? It is. Well, I have a few more things. We'll do a second video. We got to do more looks with this. So I'm going to call this new makeup one. Uh, well, new makeup. I don't know what number it'll be. But then I'm going to put Huda Beauty part one. Because we're going to, we're going to, I'm going to wash my face in a little bit. And we're going to come back in and do another look. Because I think we can really make some amazing looks. So I'm going to take some time in this palette and really wear it and see what I can do. Because I, so far, 100% impressed. Final thoughts. As for the serum, the Youthful Glow Foundation Serum, I do like it. It's not my preference, so I'm going to send this to my daughter. As for the Juvia's Place powder, foundation powder, foundation, foundation powder, 
I do think I might like it, but I need to try it with my um, with my uh, normal foundation. So I might do that as a short so you guys can see that. So I do like that. Um, so far, really loving the mascara, the Panorama. Um, I You can see it up close. I think it did a really good job. It gave me eyelashes. I don't curl my lashes. It freaks me out. I do have the curler, but it freaks me out. I own like four of them, but they scare me, so I don't ever use them. Um, and then, of course, the piece de resistance. So I'm definitely going to dig into this. I don't know if it'll be shorts. I don't know if it'll be a whole other video. But I think we should just try to create a ton of looks with this. I like the way it looks. I am so excited. This is going to be on my stand all winter because I do, like I said, I mark my words, grunge is back. So anyway, I hope you guys know you are seen and you are loved. And I hope you have a blessed one. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.